Frankie is seen on video at the trial exiting and we hear from his lawyer who says some pretty interesting and weird stuff and we're gonna go into it. Guys, make sure to click the plus sign. I'm gonna keep you up to date with this. Sound off in the comments. I want you to tell me what you think about all this, but take a look at this clip, see what you can see from Kevin, listen to his lawyer, and then we're gonna discuss. Thank you. Appreciate it. in there. Why would you have any questions? <laughs> <laughs> Can you bring us up to speed? Where do you think the case is for your client and uh, all the rank employees? Just, uh, just what the court said. We're just, uh, as we said in the beginning, we're just working toward trying to get this family healed and get these kids uh, back where they should be. They need to be with a family member, preferably Kevin. And uh, uh, that's what our goal is. We're working hard, Kevin and I, to convinced the state that he's uh, an incredible father as he was before all this happened and they became separated but uh, in the meantime he's just working hard on getting himself uh, back in position to be able to take these kids and uh, raise them as a good father would would you prefer this case be close to the public you know what as to the adults i don't think anybody cares but as to the kids, I absolutely think these kids have been through a lot. And to have all this media exposure to them individually as uh, little kids who have been manipulated, uh, I, yeah, I think I think it's better held privately. What does it mean to you if the eldest daughter was in attendance today? Um, I think she has a right to be there. I don't know what the court will ultimately determine about that, but I think she has a right to be a part of these proceedings. She's part of the family. Do you have any comments about the last child welfare hearing? Uh, I, I can't talk about that. It, we, we went into a lot of detail and a lot of things about the kids that uh, just shouldn't be disclosed. Mm -hmm. How long have they been separated? Uh, Kevin and Ruby were separated, well, now for 14 months, 13 months when this all kind of raised its ugly head, and then another month since then, so 14 months. Is there a possibility that if the case were sold to the public that Sherry would still have access to it, or would she also be barred? That's up to the judge. So, but it is, it could happen. It, it could happen either way. Yep. That's just totally up to the judge. Okay, where do I begin? That's kind of where I'm at when I look at this. So let's just go to the thing where he says the children were manipulated. First of all, he talks about Kevin being a great father. Well, if that were true, Kevin would not have supported withholding food from them and even encourage that behavior alongside of Ruby. See, when he says, well, Kevin's just working real hard to get back his kids and prove to the state, if he was such a great father, and maybe this is because I don't know a ton about CPS, so correct me if I'm wrong, why would he have to be giving all of this proof? Or is it because the state looks at it and says, you abandoned your children, and then there's all this evidence of what they did even before she was detained. So there's stuff like that. Well, oh, he's just such a great father. Okay, he abandoned his children. How great is that? He withheld food. He did horrific punishments to them. How great is that? And why doesn't he have custody right now? But then says the children were manipulated. What is that supposed to mean? What on earth? You mean the children were manipulated because when Ruby and Kevin broke up, they were against Kevin? They were manipulated by getting rescued and getting help? What? You mean that they're upset with both of their parents? Where is this manipulation? And then, which I talked about before, and we're going to go more into detail probably tomorrow because more information is coming out about this, Sherry. Apparently, they're trying, the court is trying to make it so Sherry can no longer attend, which doesn't make a ton of sense. Now, the speculation is because she apparently, and I'm not 100% sure on this for what I'm seeing, she's a law student or she does something with the law and not only that, she has inside information, as we know, because she was there, as to what happened that could be a detriment to 
Ruby. So I, they were asking questions about, you know, whether or not she should be there. And at least he said, well, she's, you know, family. She has a right to be there, but it's up for the court. To me, that was one of the only things I kind of heard him say where I'm like, okay, I can kind of get behind you on that. But at this point, this lawyer to me seems so shady. And I caught him in a big lie, or at least he really skewed things and painted a picture that was not true recently. But he's a lawyer. This is what they do. I want to know, what do you guys think? What do you think about seeing Kevin? What do you think about what the lawyer said? What do you think about Sherry not being invited? What is going on here? Sound out in the comments, guys. Click the plus sign. I've got more coming on this.